She give me bummy yard, say she give me bun me yard. Fine girl, I call me not me yard. Say she bounce on the thing so whine it for me thing so put the thing upon me thing and whine it for me thing so I say she whine it for me yard. Man, I give it to her one time, say she want it one time, want it for me yard. Man, I step in. Hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new vlog i know i've not i've not vlogged in a while because i mean from the last vlog you guys saw um i had some issues with my with my face it's a long story so basically the product i used on my eye i reacted to it and it was just it was just a lot it took about let's say one week for my eye to fully heal but now i'm back and right now i'm about to make dinner and for dinner we're going to be having egg fried rice i'm not sure the recipe is going to be up on youtube but if you want to see the recipe it's going to be on my food instagram account i have a food instagram account it's sent this delight it's going to be on my food instagram account i'll show you guys the final product you know the final meal um, when i'm done but i'm not going to be filming for youtube i'm going to be filming that for instagram but anyways if you're seeing my face for the very first time my name is senti and i'm a youtuber based in birmingham i do videos on fitness healthy eating and i also do vlogs yeah so right now like i said i'm about to have dinner already i'm about to make dinner so that's what i'm about to do now and i've also just got i just received a package from amazon so recently to save money i've decided that i'm going to buy my groceries or should i call them groceries more like things i use in the house household items i've said i'm going to buy them in bulk so i got this off from amazon i don't know why somebody is going to just calm down I'm, you know this is just bringing back the covid memories of when people were going to the stores to buy like toilet rolls and all that they're buying plenty literally that's what i did so i got about i think 60 60 toilet rolls then i also got then i also got kitchen towels too so this is what it looks like and i'm guessing that these are going to you know serve us for quite some time so that means i'm not going to bother myself about getting um toilet rolls and kitchen towels for the time being and i think with this particular um with this particular purchase that i did i saved quite an amount of money because when i calculated how much i spent on toilet rolls compared to how much i bought this like i'm saving quite a substantial amount so yeah that's why i just decided to do it so right now, like I said, I'm about to start cooking and yeah, let's do it together.
So, I don't know if you guys can hear me. Hopefully, you can. Because I'll be speaking into my mic. Ooh. So, for the first exercise I did, I did squat. And I just said it was exercise recently. Oh, that I've been doing it for quite some time, but I've always been using a smoke machine. But now I just take in these three weeks. Oof. So I was heavy. So in total, I have about four exercises that I'm going to do. I'm doing um, squats, I'm doing hip thrust, I'm doing sumo squats, and I'm also going to be doing Bulgarian speed. But I'm thinking of adding hip abductors if I have enough time. But if I don't, I won't add it. All I can pray is for God's help. So this is the second exercise and for me this is the new PR. Normally I think I carry about 52. 52.7 kg ish they're about well i just added extra 5 kg and i'm so tired Whew, but i have three more sets to do so for each of my exercises why is this that rather than lifting rather than doing so many reps i do lesser reps and lesser sets so i go as heavy as i can yeah so yeah let's see how that's going So this next exercise, um, sumo squat. So what I do is that I lift as heavy as I can once again. But because I wanted to target my glutes, I lean forward a little bit, and it is more controlled. Did you notice when I was doing it, I wasn't going just up and down. I was taking my time, so I was going down gradually, and coming up gradually. That way, you will feel it more, and you're going to also feel it better in your glutes if you lean forward a little bit. So. That's one thing because I notice that people always say stuff like oh, when they do sumo squats they feel it in their cords. I guess it's because they're just you know standing straight and going down. But if you lean for the little bit, you're going to feel it in your hips. Hi guys, so currently it's so minutes past three and I just wanted to talk to you guys before I end the vlog because this vlog is just mostly about my updated glute routine. Uh, so what happened was that when I was doing my Bulgarian splits and my hip abduction exercises, I realized that I did not talk to you guys and the reason why I did not talk to you guys was because this is actually the first time I was, today is actually the first time I did those two exercises so I needed to understand how they work and how i'm going to feel it and i didn't want to you know give out the wrong information about these exercises if you guys noticed when i was doing my um 
my Bulgarian speech my, my legs were shaking the weights I carried were no much I think I carried about I don't know I can't remember is that 12 or 10 kg I can't actually remember I'll have to check the app that I used to update my um, gym routine to actually know the exact figure and that's the reason why you should also get this app so that you don't have to keep on thinking about the last kg or the previous um, kg you carried or anyways that's not what it's it is all about so what i wanted to talk about was the fact that i added these two new exercises i added bulgarian speed because i've heard so many things about this and the reason why i've actually not done bulgarian speed in a long time or the reason why i've actually don't actually like it is because of the bad pr around bulgarian speed i don't know if you guys know about this but bulgarian speeds are quite painful and they are very 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 annoying <laughs> but um I just wanted to make sure that i was getting the form right and i was doing it the right way and that is the reason why i decided to start you know with um, lower weights then you know i'll progressively um add weights over time yeah so that's the reason why i didn't really talk about it also noticed i was not doing it right at some point because i was um feeling it on my quads i wanted the bulgarian speed to be focused or i wanted to feel what the bulgarian speed mostly on my glutes and this time i'm just staying up straight and doing it and going down I was feeling more on my quads than I was feeling on my glutes. So again, the same thing with the small squats. I had to lean forward a little bit. Then that's when I started feeling it on my glutes. Now with the hip abductors, um, the hip abductors is mostly, um, I think the muscles that the hip abductors is focused on is the glutes minimus and the glutes medius. They work the glutes maximus a little bit. I think that's like the secondary muscle. But the primary muscle that it works on is the minimus and the medius. Again, like I said, this was the first time I was trying it and I didn't want to like talk about it without actually knowing how I'm feeling it in my body or what part of the muscle um, the hip abductors was working. But yeah, that was literally it. I go back home and I slept. Literally, the workout, the glutes workout, they took me out. Like I was proper, proper knackered and I slept. But anyways right now i'm just going to you know continue with my day continue what things i have to do still working a little bit because i mean it's friday and work is almost done um then after that i'm going to have dinner by five like i said i think i said this in my video i think a previous video um we eat very early nowadays and again it's getting closer to winter period i think we're entering autumn season already so if you guys notice this morning it was very dark not very dark per se but it was quite dark um when i was going to the gym and i was like what the hell because i'm used to summer and you know the whole bright thing and you know, everywhere being bright by because i got to gym around six and normally six o'clock is bright but now we're getting you know it's, it's gradually shifting that's the whole point i'm trying to make but anyways by 5 p.m we're going to have dinner and what we're going to be having for dinner today is what i made yesterday that's the egg um egg fried rice and we're going to be having the turkey this time around and the sweet and sour sauce that i made the sweet and sour sauce i made is filled and packed with proteins and vegetables that is one of the reasons why i actually love it apart from the fact that it's sweet proteins and vegetables my best so yeah after having dinner we'll head out around let's say 6 37 and we'll go for a walk so even though i go to the gym like four or five times a week i try my best to get at least 10 k steps on some days i go on the treadmill to walk on some days i can't because of how oh, i have to resume work so why is that i just make up for that in the evening by going on a walk yesterday i was supposed to go on a walk but it's still raining so i could not go hopefully today i checked the weather forecast already it's not going to rain so hopefully today we're going to go on a walk and we're going to go on a two hour walk <laughs> it does not sound that bad it does not sound as serious and as bad as it sounds i don't know if that makes sense it does not sound as bad as that serious as it sounds but Literally, we just have this, have like different roads in my area where I work. So I know that if I want to go on a, let's say, 40 to 5 minutes, minutes walk, most times when I do 40 to 5 minutes, I'm probably going alone. So I have a particular route. If I know I want to go on a one hour walk, I have a particular route. Once I know I want to go on a like two hours walk, I have a particular route. So I don't know. I don't know. Am I the only one that has things like this? That you have a particular walking route with a particular distance and a particular time you want to do. Let me know in the comment section if I'm really one or if I'm weird like that or if I just love walking like that. <laughs> because I just realized right now that I actually, in my head, like I have subconsciously done this, that once I know that, oh, we're going for a one hour walk, oh, we're going to flow here. Once I know we're going for a two hour walk, oh, we're going to flow here. I don't think I'm doing one, but if I'm doing one, 
that would be very weird but anyways yeah enough about talking um i just wanted to give you guys updates and maybe uh, more information about my glitch exercises and again another thing i want to say is that it will make sense if when you're doing your exercises whatever exercise whether it be glutes uh maybe your upper body triceps biceps focus all should i say focus or should i say do the same exercise for a period of time so i know that right now you know sizes are always up on instagram youtube everywhere you always see different exercises oh do this to train your glutes oh do this to do this one do this but i want you guys to focus on certain exercises and do it consistently for a period of time personally that's what i did and that was how i saw like very like visible results focusing on something doing it progressively and you know maybe progressive overloading and you know increasing your weight over time that is the way you're going to see results because if today you've done this exercise and maybe next time you want to maybe today you've worked on glutes and you focus on these exercises next tomorrow you're working on glutes again and you're doing something else you're just going here and there and you're not even knowing if you're making any progress because let's just assume you did hip thrust today like for me now i hit a new pair today you hip thrust i think it was about 62 point something kg let's say next week i've decided that oh i've seen this very nice glute exercise in um, on instagram and i want to try it i'm going to go and do let's say maybe cable kickbacks and i'm doing that i'm not going to know if i'm going to you know increase or get better at hip thrust do you understand that type of thing and you know that's how it just keeps, keeps going like for me again when i started with glutes exercises i was doing my squats on the smith machine so that was how i started my squats and i think on the smith machine the highest i, I could carry was 61.3 kg and with 61.3 kg you see me sweating and panting like someone i don't understand but today i did the free weight um squatting and i i think i carried about 50 kg and i struggled with smith machine on 50 kg but you know the whole point i'm trying to make is that there is a clear progression oh i started from here and then i started at this kg and i just kept on going so i would just advise if you want to see good don't just jump from one exercise to another that's the whole point of this round don't just jump from one exercise to another focus on one and do it for a long period of time because that is when you're going to see results so i hope you guys have enjoyed my ranting so i'm going to go back to over i'm going to go back to working and i'll see you guys when i'm about to have dinner and go out for my walk Bye. so this is me going on my walk the weather was nice it was a really really nice one and a long walk i did i think about two hours my wristwatch died halfway through so i could not even calculate the exact amount of hours and kilometers i walked but it was really nice and i also found myself somewhat unexpectedly and decided to buy some things don't judge me if you got to the end of this video thank you very much don't forget to like share comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye